Look what we got, man. What up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be towing for the first time with the dually. Why is it so bright? It's like 100 degrees, man. So, since we're going to be towing today for the first time, we need to get rid of this hitch right here. Because obviously the truck is a bit low, kind of low, not that low, a little bit. Look, this drop right here, guys, I don't even know what kind of drop this is, but it's like, what is it? You could fit almost three fingers. So what we're going to do, we're going to fully test it out. We're going to put, we're going to go to the yard and we're going to go put the bobcat on this shit. Because if we're going to take it out of state with the truck, I want to test it out first with the bobcat. That's super heavy to make sure that, that it'll work good, you know? I don't want to go out of state and go be stranded or some shit. So let's unbox this real quick first. All right, what do we got in here? Weight safe keyed alike locks. So this is the, the pin for it and the lock so they don't steal the... Let's see this first. This isn't chrome, it's like brushed or something. I wanted it chrome, but I couldn't find any chrome. And then, this one's kind of like my dad's. Let's see, we got the trash can in the way right here. I think it's the same brand though, but my dad's only has one, one bob, but you could change it out, but his has a, como le dices? A scale yeah but look it's the same thing it's gonna have this lock this lock and the same way we're just gonna flip ours upside down and mine has two instead of just one that changes I kind of like how the one looks better but this is a bit more convenient so I'll take this off okay, I'm gonna put you guys over here I kind of need two hands for this Okay, so that was pretty easy, and I like how it looks. Let's see, I'm right here. That looks pretty nice. I don't like that 180 there. Is this a sticker? Oh, it's a sticker, it comes off. We'll throw a, a sideways sticker on here or something, or a little blue one. But yeah, it's just a sticker, it comes off. But we put the, the bigger ball, because that's the one that the trailer we have uses. I'm guessing that should be high enough. The only thing that kind of sucks now is that the camera is going to be covered. Maybe we could position it like in here or something or somewhere else. But for now, it looks really good. Now let's get it to the yard and go see. All right, that looks really good. Now we just got to go to the yard and hook up the trailer. Do you guys think it's going to drop a lot? I, I low-key think it will. Let's say, you think it'll be tucking like, like, like right here? If it tucks even a little bit with with this trailer, then that means that means we're Gucci to put a truck on it like that. If not, I'm kind of, kind of, kind of a little tempted to to like lift it a little bit, like maybe like three inches more at least, front and back, and then put some some bigger wheels on it. Oh, also I got LED lights, but we're gonna save that for another video. I've never seen nobody eat pizza rolls with ranch. One. Ever. It's kind of smart, but. Curve what's up? <laughs> That's very odd, man. <laughs> have you guys ever. Have you guys ever seen somebody make pizza rolls in the oven? They're crunchy. They're I'd rather they're, they're better, but I've never seen that shit in my life. I've been make I've been making pizza rolls since I was six, man. Can you open that? I ain't never once. 
Never once put pizza rolls in an oven, man. I don't, I don't think that's right. That don't seem right, man. You're missing out. Should we put the sideways sticker on the hitch first? No. Or do it over there? Do it over there. Truck for the first time ever. How much was it? $160. $160 to fill up a truck? What the hell? I think my car's expensive <laughs> to fill up. My car fills up with like 50 bucks. So I, should I tell him the, we'll, we'll tell the story. I'm gonna tell him the story about what happened yesterday yeah. while, we're, while we're telling though. I got a story for you on a little bit, all right? I miss slow gas prices. Gonna be the Julie's first time getting hooked up to a trailer. Did it drop? Yeah? Yeah. A lot? A little bit. Twist the chains a hell of a so they don't hang. Tom, no shit on the floor, babe. I'm, st I'm starting to think it's gonna drop too much with the with this shit. I think it's gonna be on the freaking floor. Huh? I think it's gonna be on the floor. Yeah. Go check check the truck and tell me. I guess we're not gonna be able to do its first tow, guys. Look at that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it looks nice. It's tucking. So let's do a little bit more. It, it, it'll be able to take a truck, though. Yeah. Now we know it can take a truck. Yeah, so for sure, guys, it can take a truck. It cannot take that heavy ass bobcat, though. We'll roll around with an empty trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, I just wanna, I just wanna like feel the, feel it with the trailer, you know, even if it's gonna be empty. So we'll just take down the bobcat. I'll take it out. I'm gonna swing the, I'm gonna swing the bobcat, y'all. So we're gonna take an empty trailer just to, cause it did drop a little bit. Like, yeah, it dropped a good amount just like that. So we're not riding completely empty guys. We have uh, the shovel, the bucket from the Bobcat weighs like, how much you think it weighs? I'd say like a thousand pounds maybe or something. So it's the trailer and let's say a thousand pounds. You can see it right there. Where? Right here. Oh yeah. Let's see where we're towing. I think I think it doesn't even have to be that high the tow hitch. 
The trailer looks like a little leaned up, so I think it could be a little bit lower. We got a little dually and it's towing. I know. That's crazy. So Sam had to go to work guys, but it's time for the story I was going to tell you guys. We were towing, well first of all we've been towing for like, what is it, like 30 minutes now? And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, this doesn't really prove anything since it doesn't have much on it, but you know, it's, it's something. But let me tell you guys about what happened yesterday. So today is Thursday, yesterday, Wednesday. When Sam went to work, uh, I was gonna go drop off the orders, right? And I was just, I left, and like two minutes after leaving the house, the truck just starts like bugging, like bad, like it just like, like le puchaba, and like, like it started like choking basically. I, I was stepping on the gas, and, and it was choking, and it just turned off. And so first of all, maybe, probably, most likely, it was because it had no diesel like at all like the the what's it called the the fuel light didn't turn on yet but but these NK on diesels you're not supposed to let them you know get low at all like like my, my dad was telling me to not leave, not even let it get lower than one fourth so that's why I filled it up right now because I'm traumatized and so it was bugging it left me stranded for like 20 minutes and, and after like 20 minutes of just like trying to turn it on and turn it on, it finally turned on. And then I was messing with the tuner and I put it back to stock and it, it wouldn't turn on for shit like that. So, and I put it, I put it just to the tune it was out again. And after it turned on, like it was still bugging like hella bad. But I made it to the gas station and I put like, like 40 bucks in it. It got like, like almost half tank and, and so far it's been working. So that's why we're doing like the trailer test and everything because I want to make sure it works before going out of state or some shit and getting stranded. And well this didn't really prove anything. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a trailer. Or I could just cut it's cause I don't want to cut the fender, like inside of the fender. So what I'm gonna do is just uh get a get a trailer and put blue or the OBS on there so we could actually test it out. And then we'll go drive like for an hour or something. We'll go like up a hill or some shit. Just to make sure it's good. Because the, the truck runs great. Like it runs so good. And I wish the gauges would work and everything. But if I connect the tuner. That's how we looking. That's how we looking. If I connect the tuner it tells me the. The oil temp. The the coolant temperature. Everything. So, so that pretty much tells everything that those gauges would. And it pulls it pretty good, like... Like, it literally pulls it like nothing. Like, I don't even feel like we're pulling anything. So that's a good sign. Now, I'm just gonna go drop it off now and that's it. This look though right here. Ah, it looks beautiful. It looks nice man, a little dually towing. Beautiful. She needs to get rid of the glass. 
I need clear. I like clear. I don't. I don't know how I feel about like black and white combination. I don't think like it stands out enough. I just get this disconnect. I'm trying to go home. Literally, the camera's low key useless now, but but it'll at least work for this. Look, you can see exactly like where it's at. But for everything else, it's kind of useless now. You literally, just see the hips the whole time now. Finally got home guys, another short video for you guys, hope you guys liked it, went towing for the first time, we're going to try it again before I go anywhere out of state, and remember guys, to get entered to the giveaway, there's one week left, there's one week left, have a cry, there's one week left to get entered for the truck giveaway guys, if you win it, have fun with it, but so make sure to enter the giveaway guys, one week left. If you guys like the videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to put fuel in your vehicle so you're not like me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.